Welcome back to Course AI Academy. This video is on screen capturing and recording. In this video, we are going to discuss how to screen capture and record on Mac and PC. The availability and features of screen recording options, along with the exact steps used in order to capture, may vary based on your operating system version, but here we are going to exemplify a few options that may be available to you. Let's start with Mac. Press down on the Command, Shift, and 5 keys simultaneously. This will turn your pointer into a camera and it will bring up this menu on the bottom of the screen. On this menu, there are a few screenshot options for still images and then the options for screen recording of videos, whether you want the full screen or just a portion of it. There is also a list of options you can choose from. These include where to save the videos and screenshots after making them, sound recording options, and more. You can click on record after you've picked your settings and it will record your screen and microphone if you so choose. When you're done with what you want to record, you can either go to the top menu bar on your computer and click on the stop button, or you can press down on the command, shift, and five keys simultaneously. This will reopen the menu that pops up and you can click on the stop key there. You'll then be able to open up the file and see your video screen recording. You can take a screenshot of the entire screen by pressing the Shift, Command, and 3 keys simultaneously. You can also capture a selected portion of the screen by pressing the Shift, Command, and 4 keys simultaneously, which will change your cursor to be a crosshair, and then you can click and drag to select the portion of the screen that you want to capture. Release the mouse when you are ready to capture the image. Now we will look at options on a PC. Press down on the Windows key and G simultaneously to open the game bar menu. You will see some options here. You can take a screenshot for a still image or if you want a recording, you will click on the button that says record. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut Windows key, Alt, and R to start and stop recording. View your recordings, open up the game bar, and click on the Show All Captures link. To take a screenshot or a snipping, you would press down on the Windows logo key, Shift, and S simultaneously. By default, it will have the rectangle mode selected, but you can choose whichever you wish. The options are rectangle mode, window mode, full screen mode, and freeform mode. Once you've captured your shot, you will see that it opens with quick and easy editing options, or if you want to crop your image further, you can do that. Some other recording options you could look into that are popular would include third-party software such as OBS Studio and ShareX. Another option that is readily available is on iPhones, and that is screen recording. I'll show you here. To activate this on your phone, you can click on Settings, Control Center, and then drag Screen Record into your controls. Once you have done this, you can swipe up or down on your phone, however your phone lets you access these controls, and record your screen. You will see it count down to record and know that it is filming the screen when the top left corner shows the red dot. Once you are done, click on that to end the recording and it will save to your photos. You can also create a screenshot on your phone. The buttons you use for this depend on which iPhone you have, but in this example, we press down on the top volume button and the power button simultaneously to capture a screenshot, which will then save into our phone's photo album. When you open it up, you will see some edit options readily available for you. These tools can be helpful when it comes to teaching your course and really getting your point across to your audience. They're also a great way to add a personal touch to your course. When it comes to any screen capturing or recording, Please remember to respect copyright laws and only record content for which you have the necessary rights or permissions. Our next video will be on basic video editing and we will show you how you can use screen recordings and captures to create helpful content for your online courses.